It's our test mics, by the way. It's go like that. Three, two, one, go. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Metagame Minute. Metagame Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about anything we want to talk about in the gaming world today. And today, I want to talk about expansions, and specifically, two different types of expansions. Um, there are, of course, a lot of different types of expansions, but I'm kind of putting them into two different camps. I did a Metagame Minute about a little over a year ago about a similar topic uh, but this one's a little bit different. And in this video, I wanna talk about do you like really big expansions or really small expansions? Now, that's not saying that a really small expansion can't change the game a lot, because sometimes really, really small expansions can really have good bang for their buck, and sometimes really big expansions don't actually change that much. They're just kind of a lot more stuff, just more cards, more stuff to play with, but nothing really groundbreaking, nothing really changes the game. Now, granted, I like both of those kinds of expansions, ones that change a lot and one that's kind of more stuff. But what I want to talk about in this one is, do you like expansions that you'll basically just always leave in the game because they're simple, they're easy to explain, you can teach it to new people learning the game. You don't have to like constantly take it out for new people. Do you like those kinds of expansions where you can kind of just leave them in the game or do you want an expansion that really changes stuff, really makes it so that if you're teaching someone new, you can't you can't add this expansion. Maybe if they're a really experienced gamer, but even then you're like, you know, we'll do base game first and then we'll add the expansion later. Do you want one like that that really changes the experience? Now, most of you are kind of like me, where you're kind of in both camps. I like both of those kinds of expansions. I like ones that you leave in all the time, and I like ones where you kind of play with them, depending on what, how you're feeling or maybe who you're playing with. If I had to choose between the two, I would probably say I like the ones where you kind of just leave them in, and that's really just because I'm lazy and because I want to be able to just leave it in there. I don't like having to constantly sort out cards if I don't want to always play with the expansion. But at the same time, I do see the benefit of the other way around. And that is because a lot of times these expansions can really change up the game. And so you can play the same game a bunch of different times. And if it's a really big expansion, like something like Orleone Invasion, there's a whole bunch of different ways to play the game in that expansion. And so you could really choose like, oh, this time I wanna have a co-op experience. This time I wanna have this kind of experience. This time I wanna play this kind of game, but it's all set in that same game. That is really, really cool. But the reason why I probably like the other way better is because although on paper and in my mind, I'm like, oh, the other way is better because variety is great, right? Being able to play the same game, a game that I really, really like, a game that I really, really love, a whole bunch of different ways is super interesting. That's very, very cool when you get to revisit something, but it's a totally different world. But at the same time, I also have to be practical in the, in the sense that we're, I'm like, you know what, but... I play a lot of games, but we play a lot of different games. And and I kind of realized this with like big, like cool when you're not Kickstarters like Zombie Side, where we got so much extra stuff, so much stuff that changed the game, that added this, that added that. Now is a new experience. Now you got this crazy monster, da da da, all this new stuff. And we realized we we're like, we will never play with all this. We will never play this game enough to warrant having this many different ways to play it. And now not everyone is like that, but I know that about ourselves, that, that we have a hard time getting the same game played over and over and over again. That's difficult for us, and I think that's difficult for a lot of people. So it's one of those things where like a lot of these games that give you so much different content in the game, even if all that content is really cool and really balanced and really awesome, I just know that we probably won't be able to get to it all. And if we won't be able to get to it all, it's kind of like, well, to me, what's the point of having it? And that's maybe a little bit harsh, but that's probably why I lean towards a, a smaller expansion that maybe doesn't change quite as much, but I can always just leave in. I don't have to take out and I'm like, okay, now this game is like this. This game is like this forever and always, forever, always. I didn't need to say that twice. And so that's kind of my viewpoint on those two different types of expansions. I tend to lean towards ones that we can just leave in and just play with always because of the fact that I know that way it'll actually get used. Whereas big, crazy expansions that add a whole bunch of different ways to play a game while cool and on paper 
are better, I know that we won't fully utilize that expansion and make it worth whatever we paid for it. So down in the comments below, let me know how you feel on this specific subject about expansions. Do you want an expansion that you can leave in all the time? Or do you want an expansion where you can switch out different things to give yourself a new experience every time? So make sure to put that down in the comments below and let's get this discussion going like we do on Metagame Minute. I don't know why I went to that accent, but we did. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, give it a share, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And whether you like the small expansion, you just leave in and forget that they're even part of an expansion, they're not just part of the base game, or big crazy expansion where you have to spend an hour after every game sorting out all the cards because you know next time you play this game, you're not going to want to play with that exact version. Remember, the more meta, the more better.